you're a comic in LA, uh, two things happen. You've got to be single, it's part of your contract, and at some point in your life, you have to tell VH1 what you thought about 1987. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a joke? Is this like some kind of. I feel like I'm on MySpace. Oh, now there's a spotlight. I don't just get the light, I get the spotlight. That's not just end your set, that's end your career. <laughs> that's, what is, nice try. I'll tell you why I can't have a successful relationship. I have a fear of vaginas. Uh, I never quite got over the fact that a vagina looks like Lando Creason's co-pilot from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> I normally sweat this way, even in the grocery store. It's okay. All right, this is this is a like, happy birthday, Cheryl. Yeah. C. Yeah, but wow, you you got that one. You got that right. What's that, what, is, what is that supposed to mean? No, I'm just I'm surprised what, you got it right. Why would, you be surprised? Why would you be surprised? I, I can't be surprised. That's a strong word. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm not surprised. Just, just, I'm not surprised. Just, Janet, push forward. Okay. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Are you mad at me now? Do I look angry? I can't tell. Do I look angry? It's just my head. What was angry? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not. Just get this over. Okay. okay. We're almost done. Right. Okay, number 11. Number 11. Number 11. You've forgotten your spouse's birthday. <laughs> Do you bring her... A, an egg. Uh, B, unopened mail. C, a tiny, tiny boat. Or D, an apologetic love letter with coupons for a free hug. <laughs> Steve. Honey, are you thirsty? I'm gonna go get uh, something to... Steve, this is like the easiest question on the survey. I think it's a joke. <laughs> All right. Okay, one more time, one more time. I wasn't, I wasn't listening. Okay. You forgot my birthday. Do you bring me an egg? Our mail? A really little boat? Or an apologetic love letter with coupons for a free hug? Oh my God! Jen, are you, are you not seeing this? Come on, she's a jealous woman. She's jealous of you, Janet. Oprah. Oh, you're dead, Poncho! I got a full bottle of peroxide in here! Woo! <laughs> you missed me, Poncho! You know the hole in your earlobe's too low, so your ear looks stupid! Trish, get away from the window! to express yourself to heal yourself. <laughs> okay, um, I think it's over between Joe and me. Why do you feel that way? Is it, is it something he did or something he didn't do? <laughs> he doesn't talk to me anymore. I mean, it's like he, he I comes I got the checkbook up. here. Uh, what do I owe you, Connor? 22.45, Mr. Shemansky. Do you think you talked to Debbie enough? <laughs> What are you talking about, Connor? Debbie feels you're not communicating. You've shut down emotionally. What did you tell him? Oh. The truth! <laughs> I like to watch you sleep at night. <laughs> by my side. It's gonna be two hundred and forty-seven dollars, ma'am. Two hundred and forty? That's over a hundred dollars more than you said it was gonna be. Well, I'm sorry. I'm no, 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 no. Allow me. Oh no, I couldn't really. No, no, it's okay. Really, I'm a movie producer. <laughs>
Could he be the bastard child of Van Hammer and the demon? You know what? You might have a point there. Taking it to Prodigy now. I didn't quite see what happened there, but XC's back on top. And the Van Demon's right in the middle of the action there. Wait a minute. Phenomenal Phil. Off the top rope. Oh, Plancha. Right on Van Demon, though. Oh, wait a minute. The caution tape is off now. Oh, now they're all right into the wall. Oh! I'm pretty sure he's hurt. I think the ring moved about four inches, brother. Here goes Craze. 